My name is Ruth Bristol. I am a pediatric neurosurgeon at Phoenix Children's Hospital. Um, my interests are varied, but one of them is the hypothalamic, hypothalamic hamartoma program at Barrow Neurological Institute. Sure. Well, we have a team-based approach, so we have a care coordinator for our team who would be your first contact. And then uh, we review all of our patient referrals. So if we were to select you or your child uh, to come out and see us, uh, you would then meet with me as well as our endocrinologist and our neurologist, and we would decide which treatment strategy would be best for you. Sure. Uh, there are several different varieties of HHs, and so depending on which one you have, we might recommend an open surgery, which would be something like a transcolossal resection or an orbitozygomatic resection. Uh, if it's a smaller lesion, it might be something we could take out through an endoscope. Um, and then there are some other treatment strategies that are available as well, with like a laser and, and other things. Sure, the, the transcolossal surgery is the one we've been doing the longest. That involves a cut across the top of the head, um, and it is an open surgery. We make a little hole in the bone and go down and take out the tumor, and then we put that bone back, so it would be an incision up there. That tends to have a hospital stay that's in the, the one to two week range, depending a little bit on the endocrine problems afterwards. Um, the endoscope is a smaller procedure where we make a little cut on the side, and we use a scope that's about the size of a number two pencil that goes down, and it enables us to bite out the pieces of the tumor. So that is one we tend to only use for the smaller tumors. We find that the hospital stays a little bit shorter for that procedure. I see the, the treatment strategy for these lesions as a process that's still in evolution. Um, some of the patients that we're treating with one modality today, we might have recommended a different modality in the past. So we tend to discuss uh, the various different options and we never know what uh, the future is going to bring and what we might see tomorrow.